There we go. Damn swamp. 300, 200, the outer layer. That's pretty nice rope. Uh-oh, it's cracked. Yeah, so loads of dressers. I do like the anchors. Wow, it's raining a lot. Hello, we're going to leak. Okay. The plan yesterday was to grind just one of the through holes, but Stuart got excited. <laughs> so he did a, a few more. <laughs> well, only one is finished. Yeah, only this one is finished and ready to fiberglass. But he did start these two as well. They just need to be made a bit bigger because we we read that they need to be like 12 to 1 the thickness of the hole so that's the plan but today we're taking a day off because it's a steward's birthday yeah hello <laughs> it's your birthday and yeah. we're gonna go and explore that's it it might not be as interesting as boat work but it's pretty cool. We're gonna take a chain link to cross the river and see what's on the other side. It looks like some sheep escaped. Oh, there's a little baby. Uh, cool. We've got a black and white, how you call it? Film? Yeah, picture. Yeah. I uh, see so they're cycling down there. Maybe we should cycle down there. Okay. We might have not chosen the best time to do this. First time of the day, it's really hot. Then we've got hats and loads of water. There we go, chain link is here. We made it. Just saying, as soon as you drop down onto the water, the breeze is so much cooler. Yeah, it's nice oh. by the river. And I think we're going for free because we're cyclists and cyclists are cool. <laughs> such a beautiful day this river wasn't so peaceful when we came down last summer <laughs> it was pretty choppy because we had the strong current from the Rhone coming down and the wind was coming from the south so got pretty interesting to say the least We're about to head back home and there it comes, the chain link. It's quite a nice little town, not really much apart from a few cute houses and... Oh, very provincial. White horses, the Salines. If you don't know, the Camargue is known for its salt, its rice, white horses, Bullfighting. Bullfighting and mosquitoes. mosquitoes. <laughs> Loads of mosquitoes. Damn swamp. It's, it's beautiful though. Yeah, it's really you liked pretty. it? Yeah, no, the town's nice, but I like this area in general. A little bit rough around the edges, but uh, yeah, nice. We're back in Port St. Louis. Back to boat your life. They've put a little boat right next to us, a new one. We've got a new neighbour. Marina's just upstairs editing. I'm trying to find some good light. Maybe we have to go this way around. 
There we are, better light. Okay, so we've got the holes. Put a little piece of plastic taped in. Now we've got 300, 200, the outer layer and another uh, something else. Uh, what's this one? Three, four, two. We'll start cutting the discs for there and we'll see how it goes. Some 200. That a little, yet to cut it, a little piece of the, to hold it in place stuff. Yeah. I don't know the technical terms. Proudly sponsored by Sickermans, not. No, we are not. <laughs> Maybe that was a bit too small. Stuart has been working for this super yacht and uh, th just doing some electrical work. And they're, I think they're pretty happy with the job he's done. They're leaving this uh, port and they had a storage unit and they had loads of stuff they didn't want. So they offered us everything. <laughs> and we're now emptying their container into our container because we managed to get a container here. So we've got many treats. Now this was a big boat. So the size of everything is uh, quite large. <laughs> But they said it's all right. Whatever you can't use, you can sell if you want. Loans and mortgages. <laughs> Loans and mortgages. We don't need any of those. <laughs> yes, and we finally got a storage unit here, so we'll be having to move all our stuff from the other storage unit to here. It's gonna make life so much easier having the storage unit here instead of having to take a car to go there and. Yeah, we're pretty happy about that. 16 mil Dyneema core. That's pretty nice rope. That's a massive hatch. We probably won't be able to put it on our boat, but we'll definitely sell it. Anybody want a... Uh... Yeah, if anyone is interested, take it out. Show us. Uh-oh, it's cracked. Not that great a treasure. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm sure the trip will be worth something. And loads of rope. Some of them are even new and shiny. It's going to our collection. Our ropes are not as nice <laughs> compared to these. <laughs> I just love how we actually bother holding up. Why? Well, our ropes are like... Uh, this is always useful in boats. Doesn't matter how old the rope is. <laughs> Welcome to our new collection of... Crap. Crap. <laughs> it's not really crap. Look at that. Just the anchors alone are, are worth a lot. Yeah, that's 25 easy. That's 25 and that's 20. Mm -hmm. That's all But yeah, there is some bits here. Interesting. What is this though? Um, water locker, I think. Well, it looks like a water locker. For the engine. Yeah. But look at it, it's massive. Pumps. We've got a little oven. Some flares, some chain. Oh yeah, the pumps, loads of pumps. <laughs> They're all good, working? Don't know. 
Palmax 4. Uh, that has a got diaphragm, some Jabsco pumps. Some uh, Jabsco spares. Which we already have a spare one of. How many spares do you need? Well... <laughs> Apparently three. We do poop every day. <laughs> <laughs> An ironing board. Uh, yeah, so loads of dressers. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Look at the size of the mooring line. Yeah, this mooring line is too big to do anything with it. It's for us, this is too big, definitely. How, how many mil is that? That's like... 26. 26 mil. Oh. 26, all right. Loads of lights. Pretty good. <laughs> it comes in handy that Stuart is a pretty good electrician. I won't go that far. You're very good, Stu. Yeah, so I, uh, I met the previous captain and he says, oh, just got a day's work doing the, uh, got a day's work just wiring up the mast. Obviously this mast's pretty big, it's 35, 33 meters. So, so a day turns into two. He's left for the job and we just land up spending a lot of time with this couple and uh, yeah, just helping them a bit with their boat. The previous owner had three boats, and this is the remnants of those three boats. Which is good for us. That's it. <laughs> yeah, this is going to save us some money. I do like the anchors. We've got loads of battery cables. There's some interesting things, like this. This is a signaling mirror. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna read about this and see how it works. Safety stuff. This is an old EPIRB. I think this got flares, but we're gonna have to dispose of those somehow. That's it. That's a job well done. I'm hot. <laughs> It's taking us a few hours to get it all empty, but we got some dressers, so that's all good. It's the first day of rain since we move into the boat, so we're hurrying up. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, and I should have done this yesterday, but uh, <laughs> it's only a couple of drops of water. Right. We don't want the water draining inside the boat, so Stuart's just rigging up these cuppers. <laughs> Stuart was convinced that it wasn't gonna rain, but it rained game. I should bypass the engine. Look at the water going down. It's gonna be interesting seeing where all the leaks, if we've got any, are. We'll be checking the windows and see which ones leak. Water is going through the little sachet of uh, lavender, so it smells really nice in here now. Provincial. Yeah. The windows are doing okay. Apart from this one, this one's leaking. Really, because it's open, we've got the cable coming through. I might just wire up the, the main bolt tubes at some point then. We've got one here. It's leaking through the little fan. Wow, it's raining a lot. We've got another leak. That's coming from the um, engine. Hello, we've got a leak. Okay. Top, uh, Tupperware. Tupperware. Is that the window? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for sticking till the end. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who supports us through PayPal, Coffee, through our wish list as well. 
we can thank you enough really this is as you know a big project and everything helps so thank you so so much and please if you enjoy our videos just give it a like comment subscribe it really helps a lot i know everyone says that when they've got a youtube channel but it does make a difference and we just want more people to enjoy this adventure with us so thank you very much for your generosity and we'll see you next week